So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller as you can see it is trending on hash 3 on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Uh, so hi everyone, today uh, we will be demonstrating how you can use multi agent orchestration using autogen. So autogen is a very very popular package coming from Microsoft which has the qualities of auto GPT as well as crew AI hence and it is introducing the concept of multi agent orchestration. So what is that in this case we would be creating multiple dummy AI agents that would be talking to each other and then coming up with a solution for a complex problem. So let's get started. I have already discussed what is multi agent orchestration in my previous video. You can check that out. So in this case I would be using the hugging face endpoint for integrating with autogen as an LLM hence to set that up first of all uh, if you have an open AI API then though it's fine but if you don't have it then you can go with hugging face endpoint so I've already discussed this in length in my previous video you can check this out so here you can see that using light LLM I have deployed my hugging face endpoint at this particular location localhost port is 4000 now I'm also setting up the base URL here the same as the mention for the uh, light LLM hosted server and I'm setting up a timeout also this timeout is basically if you're using Olama apps because Olama LLM because Olama inferencing is quite slow in Windows and eventually you might need this parameter if you're using Olama. Uh, then I'm assigning the LLM config this is similar to what we have done in my previous video in Autogen so I'm skipping a few things here you can check back on why certain things are done. Now here comes the main part of this particular tutorial where we would be creating three agents one is a user proxy. What is a user proxy agent? It is a alternate for the human intervention in the conversation. And in this case, uh, as you can see, the system message is also a human admin. It would be one of our agents. I have discussed user proxy agent in my previous video on autogen in detail. You can check that out. The rest of the two agents that I'm creating is one is coder who understand codes and technicalities of any development and a product manager creative and having software product ideas, right? Now I'd be throwing them with a a feature development option and eventually they would be coming up with the final solution. Uh, so after you have created these three agents as you can see that in the first case the user proxy I am using user proxy agent else I am using assistant agent. So autogen does have the qualities of code execution also and this power has been given to the user proxy agent only. So if the assistant any assistant agent comes up with any code snippet the user proxy agent has the powers to execute that also. And that is the user proxy agents are used in this particular use case that I would be displaying. I won't be requiring to execute any codes, but you can change the prompt. You can use it for your problem statement. And if any output from the codes are also required while discussing, I think that would be visible to you. So here you can see that I've created three agents now. Now I'm creating a autogen.group chat where I'm providing the list of agents that I would be using the messages and maximum round equals to 12. So the conversation should last for at max 12 conversation and then using the group chat object I am creating a group chat manager. Here I am providing the LLM config also quite easy to understand I think it's quite uh, clear. Uh, now let's get started so I am providing them discuss product design technicalities for adding OTP based authentication in an app right using the user proxy. So as we have discussed the codes now let's execute this code and see the results. This might take some time and you would be able to see how the agents are uh, conversing uh, or having a conversation amongst themselves to come up to a solution. Also as the LLM would get hit you will be seeing here the API hits that would be coming up. This might take some time so do wait for a while. Now here you can see that the discussion has started. The coder is chatting to the chat manager telling out what uh, its response then the product manager is chatting out. Auto reply is getting used for user proxy. So basically user proxy intends to have user input, but you can uh, override that with auto reply also. This is a feature uh, provided in autogen and you can see that um, the, they are having quite a discussion here and then they have come to a conclusion also. Now these are the cleaned up part of the conversation that I have formatted. So here you can see that uh, the assistant started off with a problem statement. Then the coder came out with certain uh, input from his end. Here you can see that the product manager is talking about certain things for additional security and stuff. You can you need to 
check out how the different the two major agents that we have created the product manager and the coder are discussing the project uh, problem amongst themselves again a statement by product manager then the coder is speaking here and then coming to a final conclusion given by the product manager so this was a very easy use case also the model that i was using gamma 2 billion is not the state of the art model and hence the results are uh, decent not the best but eventually what you can do uh, for the coder part you can have a different lm config also which is more specific to codes like code llama for example in that case it will be able to generate better codes you can execute them and eventually you can even see uh, you can see the full potential of autogen with multiple agent so this is how autogen can be used for creating multiple ai agents which can con uh, have a discussion amongst themselves and then come up with a solution for a given problem statement thank you so much do try out with different problem statements